So you're going to buy a new acoustic guitar, or going to buy you an acoustic guitar, but you don't know whether to get uh, fan bracing, or ladder bracing, or X bracing, you don't know what you need, man. That's what this video is about. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. I get asked a bunch of times every day, if I'm going to buy an acoustic guitar, what kind of bracing would I prefer in it? Uh, mostly they're asking about if I like rear shifted bracing, standard bracing, or forward shifted bracing. Mostly that's what they, they want to know. Uh, like I said in the, in the intro, they make all kind of bracing in acoustic wooden guitars that are made of wood. Ladder bracing, you know, it, it, back up. It depends on the kind of music you're going to be playing with that guitar or what you're going to do with it, okay? Of course, if you're going to play classical guitar, you wouldn't want a dreadnought. You would want to go out and find you a good classical guitar, probably with uh, ladder bracing in it or uh, fan bracing. One of those two, not X bracing. So, you know, you, you would have to determine what you're going to use the guitar for, what kind of music you're going to play on it. And uh, or you can just use it for a studio, a studio instrument maybe. But this is mainly about X bracing and X bracing guitars, forward and shifted and non shifted, and scalloped and non scalloped and all that jazz. Okay, where to start? If you if you take if I had an acoustic here and I was holding it up and it's got the sound hole right here. You can look down in there and see that X bracing, okay? If you move, if Martin or whoever built the guitar moves that bracing down and about, that's rear shifted bracing is what they call that. If it's moved up closer to the hole, it's forward shifted bracing, okay? And then you got your, your uh, normal standard bracing. All right, what happens? If you shove that X brace forward toward the sound hole, you're opening the whole bout of the bottom of the guitar up bigger, making a bigger area to vibrate there. Now, that's probably good, say, if, if for instance, if you played in a bluegrass band, you played rhythm guitar, that would be ideal, that'd be what you want. But if you soloed a lot in that bluegrass uh, setting, you probably would prefer the uh, either standard or you want to move back down toward the lower bout of the belly. If you played rhythm guitar, you would want it up toward the sound hole. That opens up, gives you that big bouncy, booming noise. If you picked and soloed a lot, you would want the X brace. You would want rear shifted, because that rear shifted, it, it uh, the guitar just cuts through better if you solo. You know, it cuts through the, the noise, <laughs> the other music better. And you know, a lot of people, especially in bluegrass music, don't know what the word dynamics mean. So. You want a pretty powerful guitar to be able to keep up with all that. All right. Uh, just remember, if you if you're only going to play rhythm on the thing, you you probably would want forward shifted bracing toward the sound hole. Okay. If you're going to solo, you probably want rear shifted bracing so that guitar will cut through the mix better, and uh, it won't naturally uh, really be any louder, so to speak. But it's just uh, I don't know. It just cuts. It's Seems like it's got more power whenever you do that. People were asking me about, uh, you know, what difference that makes. Like I say, a forward shift brace opens this bottom bout up, and that's the top vibrates. You got a lot deeper tone, a lot uh, uh, punchier guitar. But that's for playing rhythm mainly, you know. And uh, like I say, shifted toward the uh, shifted down, closing all that area up down there. The guitar cuts through solos better so it's up to you it depends on what you play you can't really i can't just say well you need to go out and buy one with forward shifted braces or you need to go out and buy one with rear shifted braces because it don't work like that it depends on what you're using it for if it's just uh if you pick and play rhythm both maybe you would want to stay with the standard bracing in the center of those two you know it, it all comes down to the kind of music you're going to be playing on the guitar what you're using it for now, if I was working in a studio all the time, I probably would want forward shifted bracing even to take my breaks and solo with. Because in a studio, you don't need that power. You really want that big, fat, juicy sound like the Rice Brothers get. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. The Dan Tominsky Martin I've got, it's got uh, 
I think I'm pretty sure now I, you, I, you can Google this and see but I think if I remember right it's got rear shifted bracing in it so it's set up for a soloing guitar it is still got a pretty good sound too I mean playing rhythm it's got all kinds of power I'm gonna have to work on that guitar pretty soon it needs frets in the worst way but uh, yeah like I say if you play classical or jazz you might want to move away from the X brace system and toward uh, fan bracing is my next choice. Not necessarily mean that's what you gotta choose too. Depends on you know how you play, what you play, where you play, what you're gonna do with the guitar, and a whole lot of factors tied into that. Man, I'm getting hoarse. Been out there, getting a wind storm going on here again. I've been out in it today, all day, <clears throat> and it's really screwing with my throat <laughs> my whole head actually but uh yeah man now about shaved braces what does that do people ask me all the time why do they scallop their braces or shave them the less mass you have in there okay I'm talking about scallop braces here the less mass that you have in there the more the energy from the strings is going to vibrate the top because there's less mass there However, it does weaken your guitar. Another thing about forward shifted bracing, opening that big lower bout up, you got kind of a little more of a tendency to, to pull a belly up into the guitar over time, I'm talking. It sounds better that way, but you always got that worry in the back of your mind about it pulling the belly up or the bridge starting to pull off because it's all open down there. Uh, well, I'm talking about so many things, I can't remember them all. Shaved bra uh, scallop bracing. That's just where they take away uh, the very center of each X-brace arm, whatever you call those. Shave it away in the center, and like I say, it does weaken the guitar a little bit, but wow, man, it improves the sound. You would not believe the guitar's acoustics I get here, and that's all they want done. Shave the braces, they say. That's what they tell me. They want them scallops, what they're, they're after. And I do it. I've done it, hundreds of them, really. And, uh, but if you don't shave them, if, if you if I don't have scallop brakes and you got more mass in there, the guitar probably is not going to have as much tone or sustain or uh, that boxy sound that we all like and love and live for. <laughs> not going to have as much as that, but it'll hold up better over a long, the long haul, over a long period of time. There again, see, it all falls right back to what you're going to use the guitar for, uh, or the kind of music you're going to play, you're going to play live gigs, you're going to play jam sessions, you're going to play shows through, through a sound system, or you're going to play it in the studio, you know, you got to consider all those factors before I can tell you, before I lose my voice, before I can tell you what kind of racing system you should buy. <laughs> People ask me on Facebook, I get messages every day, man, and in emails, asking me, what kind of brace, if you want to buy a guitar, what kind of bracing system, would you get X brace, would you get fan brace, would you get ladder bracing, you know, and I can't answer those emails, I mean, oh, I can't answer them because I get so many of them, but I couldn't answer them, you know, I couldn't just tell them, you know, well, you need X bracing, and you need ladder bracing, and you better go with fan bracing, it don't work like that, you need to know what kind of music you're playing, where you're playing, what you're using the guitar for, and basically what you want it to sound like to determine what kind of bracing whether they be uh, shaved they got me calling it shaved now scallop bracing or not whether it be forward shifted or not rear shifted or not standard bracing or not you know all those factors if you want to go the right route when you buy your acoustic guitar dreadnought uh, style I'm talking about you want to go Consider all those things before you go spend the big money on a good guitar. Uh, your dream guitar, we'll call it. My dream guitar is that Martin Tominsky I got. I've had that guitar. It's a 2012 model. I've had it since uh, about then. It was new. I'm like the third owner, but it, it was, you know, it was new. But I'm the third owner. It wasn't very old. It wasn't even a year old when I bought it. Anyways, that guitar I wanted for a long time. Yeah, well, ever since they came out with them, they modeled those after Dan Tominsky's old 1940s Martin D28. I don't know if it's an HD28 or not, but the, anyways, these are HD28s that I have, and they modeled it right after that old one he plays. And they quit making those. If anybody knows how many of those they made, I'd like to know. Mine is number 69 <laughs> of all numbers, 
that's what it is, man. I think I saw one, played one, that was 112, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a Tominsky Custom Shop Martin is what they're called. So if anybody knows that, I could probably Google it and find out. Just too lazy to do it. <laughs> but uh, I would like to know how many of them they made. Mine, mine is number 69 out of how, however many they did it. Well, I'm going to go, man. I can't talk. I'm going to completely lose my voice if I keep talking. Been out there in that weed all day, and it's just, I knew, I knew it was going to be like this. I thought, man, I need to make a video tonight. I hadn't made one for like two or three days. I'll make a video, render the video, edit, render, upload it, fill it up with tags, uh, put a description in, put a title in, joggle the commercial ads around, you know, as few as I can get in there, and, uh, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helps you all that uh, wondered about the what type braces you should get. You know, consider all that stuff that I just told you. And uh, then go out and play some guitars and ask them. In the stores, you know, they don't usually tell you this guitar's got rear shifted brace. This one's got forward bracing. This one's standard. They, usually they don't tell you that stuff. you got to ask them. But you got to know what you're looking for. They don't even tell you the braces have been scalloped or not. Of course, you can look in there and see that for yourself. One guy wanted me to scallop his back braces. And I did. I said, man, I don't recommend doing this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. So I did it for him. He paid for it. I mean, he paid me for it. I guess the guitar is still holding up. I never saw him anymore. Never heard anything about it. He wasn't from around here locally. So anyways, that's all I can think of right now. I'm going to go get me some more hot coffee. And uh, just sit around and sip on that and try to get my throat back a little bit. Wow, this is messed up. I hate to have to sing right now. If you played Rizzo, oh! <laughs> and there's why. Thanks for watching. Uh, cheers to you. I'll see you on the next video.